Duncan Middlesbrough threatening again with Hackney. Hackney again by the byline, fires it in and all the way through again. And Kuseni keeps it alive for Aston Villa. The real threat there was just looking for somebody to tap it home from a Middlesbrough point of view. Fortunately for Villa, nobody did. Brad Young comes forward, pokes it into Anwar Al Ghazi. Too many defenders there rolls is. across. It's got to be for right, and it is. Well, credit Anwar Al Ghazi there. He had a very, very narrow angle. Saw what was available at the far post, and Tyreek Wright with the simplest of tappings to give Aston Villa the lead on 17 minutes. Space out there again for Middlesbrough. Enjoyed themselves down the left hand side so far. Revan trying to hold them up. In comes across. Mano Mart to the far oh, side. Great so save from Philippe Marshall. Had to be as well. It was on target. It was definitely going in. Turn, he's got away from his man. Good ball forward for Brad Young as well. Had to wait for the ball to catch up with him. Two to beat. Farrell Willis joining in. Young goes for the byline. Digs out across, and Algarzi nearly there. Coming out to Reiki. Shots blocked. Well, Middlesbrough will be able to clear away, but use of the hands there is going to give Aston Villa a free kick in a promising position. Algarzi for Aston Villa. Beats the wall, gets oh. a deflection, takes it in, and Villa do lead by two goals to nil now. Anwar Algarzi slices the deflection, maybe took it away from the hands of Henry Popple. But on 29 minutes, Villa lead by one goal, uh, two goals to nil now. Algarzi with the latest. be able to put his foot on it here it's a good ball for Brad Young now could this be number three for Aston Villa uh -huh. throws for the cheeky chip but the goalkeeper was alive to it Popple gathers great ball from Revan to set Young away yeah, superb great movement there by Young yeah need to finish that Rick keeper completely read that one there as well back on the other end for swing calls to set Villa away again he's right down the line for Brad Young, yet more running for him to do. Might break for Tyree Wright again, it does. It rolls for Brad Young. The flag, though, goes up against him. I don't know why the referee hasn't blown the whistle. Young, I think, knows as he rolls it in. And the flag went up. I'm pretty sure it's an upside, upside decision. Yeah. Yeah. Be interesting as a freaky before that, though. This is the chance set up by Revan where he went for the chip, Young. Goalkeeper able to save it. So I think it's a free kick to Middlesbrough. Yeah. I mean, yeah. confirmation. It certainly looks that way. Yes, it sure is. Middlesbrough players not happy about something. For Marsden, the referee. In the middle of something here. Tyree Wright played the ball forward. Was blocked by the defender. Uh, Roll back towards Young. Now then the flag did go up, saw it. Young carried on and rolled it into the net. And I'm pretty sure that's it should be offside by right. So I've got to yeah, be I honest, the so. flag went up. Okay. I saw the flag go up the, the corner, it's given the goal. <laughs> well I am very, very surprised, surprised by yeah. that. And yeah. you can understand the Middlesbrough players' yeah. frustration yeah. because yeah, yeah. the flag Had definitely up, went up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Definitely so. But overruled. Overruled and Brad Young has his goal. Dodd sends it long. Looking for Civi. Holding off the challenge of Sil Swinkles. 
There's an early cross, Covenant on the chest. Little layoff, and there's a man over here. It's Collins. Collins with the chance and the goal. Ten minutes into the second period, Middlesbrough have got what they would have wanted. An early strike to give them something to build on, and it's the substitute, Sam Collins. to that uh, phase of, of the game where the next goal is actually quite important now. Here's Frith making sure, trying to make sure it'll be a Villa goal. Frith into the penalty box. Just pulls his shot. Oh, is it the inside oh. of the post? And is hooked away. And Declan Frith nearly with the immediate response to the Middlesbrough goal. And the goalkeeper, Henry Popple, helped out by the woodwork. And what a response there. Good football initially by that. Frith really unlucky. Good save by the keeper. It's Revan to Lindley. Tyreek Wright prodding it forward. Thread though. Middlesbrough have it. By Longo. Brad Young's challenge was a foul. So it's Paul Marsden, the referee. Well, this is Frith's effort at goal. I thought maybe the chance had gone. Yeah. Tyreek Wright just over his head and it falls for Hackney again. And Hackney might go all the way on his own here. Shooting chance, Marshall's built it. And can he be a second for Middlesbrough? It is Kavanagh. And the game is well and truly back in the melting pot now on 63 minutes. Callum Kavanagh following up the initial effort and drilling it past Marshall to make it. Feeney goes back to the goalkeeper, Marshall. Gibson's gone to ground. And Kruseni's pleading yeah. his innocence, but it's a free kick to Middlesbrough. This is Gibson with a delivery to the far post. And always oh, knocked oh. back across goal, and it's an equaliser. It's 3 3. A header at the far post. It was a good delivery in there. And I think it's by Longo that's levelled it up. Header back across Philippe Marshall. Gibson with the free kick. And Brian Bailongo has made it 3 3. Bailongo. Sam Collins. Brian Bailongo goes long looking for Kavanagh. Longer stayed down as he drifts out to the left hand side, following, waiting for a cross. Feeney tackle, making sure that there isn't one. It'll be a corner. Can't say drifting into the penalty box alongside by Longo. Comes the corner, the far post, and it was Conte with the chance. I think he's at, crossing himself, he didn't get that on target, but Camel Conte with a glimpse of goal there. Young battling for it. Falls for Middlesbrough. And they're coming forward themselves with Corne up against Swinkles. Corne into the penalty box, gets his shot away. Marshall saves to keep it out and keep it 3 3. And there goes the full time whistle. And it finishes three goals apiece, a point apiece, honours even, and a well, it's a cliche sometimes in football, a game of two halves. But the first 45, Villa ran out three nil winners, and the second half, Middlesbrough ran out three nil winners as well. Right, Anwar Al Ghazi and Brad Young sent Villa into the half-time break, three goals to the good. But Sam Collins, Callum Kavanagh, and Bright Balongo all scored in the second half to ensure that Middlesbrough take a share of the spoils.